So hi everyone, welcome back, thank you for being here with me. I am Lou and this is your weekend wisdom reading. So as always, I am just going to say to you, take this time to, rela to relax, enjoy yourself, have some fun, connect with those that you love. Recover from the week that has just passed and get rejuvenated, ready for the week we are about to receive. So today I have been drawn to pull a card from my Dreams of Gaia tarot deck. I still absolutely love this. One day I will sit down and I will go through this book and read it all because it is so insightful. It brings such great messages through. So let's have a look, shall we? Let's call on the angels, guides, keepers of light. Please guide me. Which messages above all messages is in the highest good for us to receive for the weekend ahead? What do we need to know for the weekend ahead? Remember, these are timeless messages. So as and when you come across them, that is when you are meant to see them. So, one piece of advice for the collective for the weekend ahead. What do we need to know? One message above all messages. There we go. We have the Eight of Earth. Get that focused on there. I'll go straight into the book and read for you. As I said, these have a slightly different meaning to traditional tarot. So I could say, yes, this is about the eight of earth, but it's the slightly different. There's a difference in it. So let's go straight into the book. and Have a look. So I will hold it just there for you as I read from the book. That looks about right. OK, so. The Eight of Earth, growth, manifestation, accomplishment, success, abundance, wealth, appreciation. The Eight of Earth symbolises success, wealth and love. The manifestations of a positive attitude, doing what you love and loving what you do. This is a very, op sorry, this is a very, op I can't even say it, sorry. Um, this is a very optimistic card. One that suggests a time of abundance, fruitfulness and a good harvest ahead. A peaceful, happy home, career confidence, the respect of your peers. What more could you ask for? All the seeds born of past planting are growing well and you can be confident that the outcome you need will manifest. This can also be a good time to think about taking that next big leap rather than resting on your laurels. You have it within you to go further and reach greater heights. If you so desire, especially if you remain committed to doing everything to the best of your ability. The Eight of Earth signifies a time to look to, acknowledge and celebrate your successes and perhaps to start making new plans for the future as well. So I will, I will read the reverse too. Goodness me, I'm stumbling a bit today, aren't I? There we go. Potential blockage. Do you find yourself looking at life through jaded, cynical eyes? Are you currently blind to the wealth and abundance you have around? You already have in your life, sorry. If so, the Eight of Earth cautions you against those negative thoughts and a failure to appreciate the wealth in your life. It asks you... If you do not see the value of or appreciate what you have in the present, how will things be different in the future? If you are only after financial reward or status, you may discover the truth in the old saying, money does not buy happiness. While it is true that money can sometimes bring more freedom and security, embracing a lack mentality will keep you focused on what you do not have instead of what you do. Do you want to be rich or do you want to be wealthy? Take a look around you. You might discover that you already possess priceless treasures that, if lost, can never be replaced. OK, so that to me is very much saying about um, appreciating what you've got. Um, as I was saying, take this time to connect with those that you love. That is being wealthy. OK, that's not having lots of money. That is being wealthy, having the love in your life, having things that are important to you that you can appreciate. Um, take this weekend to do that. Um, obviously, it does very much in the beginning talk about um, 
moving forward, your next step, etc. So have it in the back of your mind. Start thinking where you can start moving forward towards, um, what more you can bring to your life, where your next step is, etc. But do remember to take time to rest. Also, celebrate where you are. Enjoy where you are. Um, just love it. Um, I'll. I will admit I have literally just finished decorating my front room and I absolutely love being in there. And for all of you that have been following me for a while, you know that I moved into a house which was absolutely filthy, um, all needed redecorating and everything. And I'm now walk into my front room and I'm like, this is nice. I go and sit in there and I, I sat there this morning having my coffee um, and it was like, I'm happy. I'm happy. I like this. Um, and I, I feel I'm getting quite emotional and welled up because it's appreciating the small things there may not be any anything great about it it may not be what other people want but for me being in that front room that I've put my effort into um to provide a nice home for my children both my children love it in there now um and it's appreciating those small things as well how far have I come um I've got myself together, I've moved us to a new place, I've pulled everything together to make a home. And sometimes, especially with the Earth cards, it's very much about home and possessions and your career, etc. And my home feels a good place and I appreciate it and I'm celebrating and success um celebrating my success at making it into what it was because it started from nothing and it's now one of my happiest places in the world I love being in that room and it's just fab and I, I just feel this weekend make the most of what you've got enjoy it um if you are at home you're not enjoying your home get some paint decorate it bring some new life into it declutter get rid of what you don't want what doesn't serve you um, and make a nice space for you and your family so that is your weekend wisdom you take care have a fabulous weekend and i will see you again soon Bye bye <laughs>